My name is Jennifer Allen and I'm an international human rights advocate. I reside in the city of Vancouver in the country of Canada. And today is a great historical day for sex industry workers in Canada because today in Ontario, the province of Ontario, our prostitution laws got struck down and were considered unconstitutional. Which means that the uh, judge in Ontario believes that Canada's prostitution laws are harming the safety and well-being of sex workers across Canada, at least in the province of Ontario. It hasn't gone across Canada yet, but we're working towards doing that. To give you an idea what this landmark judgment means, it's as big as when women were given the right to vote, when gay marriage was legalized in Canada, or even bigger, when Americans abolished slavery. It's, that's how big it is. It means that sex industry workers are human beings, we've got rights, we're recognized, the conditions we're forced to work in in Canada are recognized as dangerous, and we get to improve them. Now I know there's the other side that's all fear-mongering and all scared that this is going to ca cause the increase of human trafficking and child sexual exploitation, but I believe that if we run this ethically and properly, we will not allow that to exist in our country, because I'm sure every Canadian is against human trafficking, against sexual exploitation, against child pornography and child sexual exploitation. So why would we as a country allow this to exist? We would make the sex industry more safer so people like that so it wouldn't exist. People like that couldn't prey on children and vulnerable women to make it happen. And that also means that people at home have to take this seriously and do their part. It's not just the police's job and the court's job to make sure child sexual exploitation doesn't exist. It's everyone's job in Canada to make sure this design exists in our country. And here's a good chance for Canada to stand up and say, one, we believe in the human rights of sex industry workers, and we believe that sexual exploitation does not belong in our country, and we do not believe in human trafficking or child prostitution.